I think when you think about how consumer beliefs have changed over the years, there are two things to take into account. Over the past 20 years, Western markets have become a lot more like Asian ones in terms of people taking the health benefits into account when they think about food. The second thing that's very important is the fragmentation of people's beliefs about food and health. So essentially, thanks to the internet, everyone can do research about food and health on the device in their pocket, wherever they are. And it means that people have got more access to information about food and health than ever before in history. So they make up their own mind, they form their own decisions, and all the discussions about food and health that used to take place behind the closed doors of the university take place in the full view of everyone. So people see this great array of information and they make up their own minds about what works for them personally in the context of their lives. It, it is, if you like, a, a sort of personalization. And the consequence is the landscape is a lot more challenging than it was. And this isn't just a Western habit. Certainly in China, younger consumers driven by access to social media are moving in the same direction and we're seeing the same fragmentation of beliefs about food and health there.